Dayquil and Nyquil has been my savior for this for this round. Cause for me, whenever I get sick, it's always Buckley's. Buckley's has always mm. done wonders for me. Was it you who right. um read up why Drank a whole bottle of Buckley's? Oh yeah. No. No. Us to die. So on um so Monique discovered um why there's no Buckley's in the States. According to Cora, According to Cora um Big Pharma essentially just bought out Buckley's because it works. <laughs> and it's like they, why why have something on the market that heals people when Big Pharma's not gonna get that much money? So they decided to say, mm-hmm. nope, there's no Buckley's in the States. So, which man, is I have ironic. a horror story with Buckley's, man. Buckley's is, I had a lung infection once, but I didn't know it was a lung infection. So I was coughing just consistently for weeks, so much so that my ribs um, bruised themselves from the contractions of the, of the consistent coughing. I had to go to the hospital and all that. Um, but before wow. going to the hospital and figuring out it was actually a lung infection, I just thought I had a bad cough. So I just hmm. guzzled Buckley's. Uh, and for those uh, of you that are listening that aren't aware, the whole ad campaign for Buckley's is the fact that it tastes disgusting, but it works. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I would ch- choke this bottle and a half down over the span of those two weeks, hate every second of it. And the cough just never went away. Um, figured out that it was a lung infection, gave me an- and now I can't even look at the bottle without feeling sick to my soul. But then would you still take it, though, if you had a bad cough? Or would you opt No, I haven't had a cough since, strangely enough. And I guess it's that it's, it probably works so good that it's maybe immune to coughs. 